What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Punning for the People. For those who are new and do not know who I am, my name is Jacob, this is my YouTube channel. I'm an Australian and I'm living here in Germany, normally playing football, but with the situation at the moment, there is no football. So I'm just making YouTube videos, currently unemployed, and uh, and just making the most of the time that I'm here in this wonderful country. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. While you're here, do please consider subscribing and joining the Punning for the People family. If you're here again and you're already subscribed, thank you so much for continuing to support me and watching all my videos. Today's video is a bit slower paced. It's a sit down video. You know, I don't like to do these if you've seen my videos before, but I feel like the subject of this video is better to be sit down and talked about directly rather than go out and shoot little things and bits and pieces and try and piece it all together. So as you can see by the title, the video is called How Germany Made Me a Better Person. And it's kind of going to be pretty direct and to the point about why I think Germany has made me a better person. To, to be honest, I think that to begin with, I wasn't that bad of a person. I think it was there was a couple of things that I didn't really see about myself that when I've come to Germany and kind of sat here, I've realized that that this is the case and this is what I'm like. And being in Germany, it's kind of made me realize that part of me and it's kind of made me make it more minimal or take the whole thing away. So first off, I wanna talk about what are the things that Germany has made me better or better in. First reason how Germany has made me better is it has made me more aware of what I wanna do and where my goals are. It has made me more, I guess, direct and driven in certain aspects of my life. And I think that has to do with the fact that I'm here with no distractions. Originally when I was here, I wasn't working and I was focusing solely on football. I didn't even have this YouTube channel. And I found that to be a little bit mundane, just being here for that long of a time, not having another creative outlet or another kind of thing that I could focus my um, my efforts into. And that's where kind of the idea of this YouTube channel kind of happened. And it kind of gave me this ability to share my story, share what I'm doing. And it kind of helped me to create a pathway into something that I didn't think I would really like at first, but has become a a huge part of my daily life and it's something that I love doing and something that's taking up a huge part of my life at the moment um, being on YouTube and making these videos. If I was to be sitting at home working a nine to five and doing the things I was doing before coming to Germany, I definitely would probably have never even have started this YouTube channel or even considered sitting here and talking in front of a camera. Previously, I really wasn't that center of attention or put in front of a camera kind of guy, which brings me to my second point. The next way in how Germany has made me better is it has made me more comfortable with putting myself in front of the spotlight or in front of the camera lens or in front of the crowd. Beforehand, I, I was in a customer facing role in terms of employment, in terms of what I did for work. I was dealing with people, whether it be over the phone or face to face, but that was work. In my private life, I wasn't really that open. I was very introverted. Now I still consider myself an extroverted introvert, but it's getting better. Every single year, the people that have watched me from the get go of my YouTube channel will probably have noticed this. I've become more comfortable with vlogging in public. I've become more comfortable with vlogging with other people and I've just become more comfortable in front of the camera as well. At the start, I didn't really know what to say. I didn't really know how to act. I didn't really know what to do. And I still have a problem at the moment where I still look towards the screen instead of looking into the lens. I'm even learning now to look more directly at the lens, which makes it a little bit better for you. If I didn't come to Germany, I probably would have been working my nine to five, going home, seeing my family and playing video games and doing probably little to no social interaction because at the time I didn't really feel comfortable interacting socially in public spaces. Now, I love it. I love coming out into the German festivals. I love meeting people in the city. I love going out and capturing beautiful, beautiful images on my camera in public. Going out in public and going out and making a fool of myself with this big camera with this fluffy thing on the top. You guys can't see it, but the microphone looks like a raccoon's tail. That doesn't really concern me anymore. I'm not really concerned with how um, stupid I look in public or how weird people may perceive the guy with the camera. I've touched on this in a couple videos but the third way Germany has made me better is I am more minimalistic. I don't wear crazy fancy clothes. I love wearing my socks and my slides. Um, I don't have a lot of stuff. We actually, on Sunday, we went to a flea market. Um, it rained for the first couple of hours, but then the sun kind of got a bit harsh and I got a bit burnt. But I had like five things to sell because I don't keep things that I don't need now. Everything that I need or everything that I want is here with me. My camera, my backpack, my football boots, and that's really it. I don't keep crazy possessions that I don't need. I don't buy things that I don't need anymore. And I've kind of got Germany to thank for that because beforehand when I was working a nine to five in that sales role, I was buying unnecessary things. I thought the more nice things that you had, the better off you were with life. That's a complete and utter lie. Since moving to Germany and meeting the German people, everyone here, 
or most people here live a very minimalistic lifestyle and invest their time and money into things that they enjoy doing or just life in general. The next point, I know you guys and she will kill me if I don't say this, but obviously the next way how Germany has made me a better person or, or has bettered me in some way is I met Marianne here. If I had have stayed at home, I would have never have met Marianne. We would have never have been in Dresden together. We would have never made the memories and experiences that we already have and will continue to make. And also we wouldn't be here in Hildesheim living in this lovely apartment and planning out our future together. So that's another huge thing is you never know where you might meet the person that you're, you're going to be with in the future. But definitely if I hadn't have come to Germany, it would have been pretty hard for me to meet Marianne. I know she's got an interest in Australia, but I don't know whether she would have made the trip all the way down to the Bayside area of Brisbane to come and meet me maybe at the grocery store because I definitely wouldn't have been out at a nightclub or, or out in public because I would have been an introvert. The last way that Germany has made me better is of course you guys, my YouTube channel. Um, I couldn't imagine myself now not having a YouTube channel. There are times where I don't feel like making a video where I just want to take a break and sit down and relax and you guys understand that. You guys always comment things that I think to myself, maybe I'm being a little bit selfish, but when I talk about them in my videos, you guys always kind of have my back on that side of things. You guys enjoy the experiences that I go and do. You guys support me in many ways, whether it be by commenting on the videos, liking the videos, subscribing to my channel, being a part of my Patreon, messaging me on Instagram and just having a general chat with me. And as I mentioned, some of you guys go above and beyond supporting me on Patreon. I actually have three new patrons that I want to give a shout out to. We have DK, we have Carl, and we have Sven. Thank you guys so much for being a part of Patreon. You guys don't have to do that. The fact that you guys are willing to put in some of your hard earned money to help support me in this big journey that I'm going through at the moment with football not happening and being unemployed and being a small time YouTube creator. It's hugely, hugely appreciated. Also Mojo Jim, you guys obviously know Mojo Jim from the comments. Um, he goes above and beyond every single time I think he couldn't do anything more crazy. He seems to uh, he seems to prove me wrong. So thank you to you guys for being part of my Patreon community. I will leave a link to my Patreon in the description below if you guys want to check it out and join. If not, no big deal. But as I was talking about guys, you guys are a huge reason Germany has made me better. I've made friendships through YouTube, through my subscribers. I've done meetups down in Schwäbisch Hall with people who were originally fans of Nalf, another YouTuber who have then become subscribers of mine or watchers of mine and, and close friends. Some of you have come and visited me in, here in Hildesheim or people from other football teams. I'm being connected to a huge amount of people that never would have been possible without me putting my face out on YouTube and you guys coming and finding me on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for, for searching for me or not searching for me in some circumstances, but sticking around and watching and wanting to see what this weird tattooed Australian in Germany even has to say. My social life outside of football and YouTube is very minimal, so commenting and, and supporting me while I'm here in Germany, and it just helps the uh, the time pass in what is a very difficult time for a lot of people around the world, including myself and including some of you guys. But that is it guys, a little lighthearted, hopefully quick video. I haven't edited it yet, so I don't know. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you liked it. If you did, consider leaving a thumbs up, leaving a comment, leaving a subscription, I don't know. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed guys. If you did, consider subscribing. If you didn't, well, I'm sorry. Maybe the next video will be more your taste. I will say thank you so much for watching. My name is Jacob and this is Punning for the People. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.